All right, so um, on this video, I want to show you one of the planets that looks kind of like Mars. And the whole point here is just to show you how beautiful the graphics are in Star Citizen. Now you're going to ask why they look so beautiful, why these graphics look so beautiful on Star Citizen. Well, that's because Star Citizen, it's a PC-only game. So if you got a super high-end, beefy PC, then knock yourself out. You can enjoy as much as you want, meaning that you have unlock, unlocked capabilities to go to any resolution you want, crank it up as high as you want and that's what they're going for that's what Chris Roberts is going for he's really wants to go for the most realistic multiplayer massively multiplayer online space freelancer simulation and I think uh, that's gonna be achievable I think uh, pretty soon once he implements uh, real-time ray tracing and some other cool stuff from DirectX 12 uh, and he keeps works he keeps working on in improving this engine making sure that the textures look better making sure that the uh, the movements of the characters are looking more realistic so I think you're gonna see that with this game so here I am that's me exploring this uh, planet that looks like a Mars it kind of looks like a Mars it's not Mars you still have a little bit of zero gravity like when you jump you see you still have that zero G because it's uh, the atmosphere it's not like in on the planet so it's a bit different that's where I parked my uh, spaceship you can switch between um, a third person or a first person view and if you get lost, don't worry about it. If you get lost, you can always look at your watch and you can find out where your ship is. Okay, you can look back and it's going to let you know where your ship is. Okay, it tells you right there. Uh, right there. So you can use uh, first person mode or you can use uh, third person mode. It really depends on how you look at it. But please keep in mind this looks much much better when you are playing it on um, this ultra wide screen you know if you don't have ultra wide screen then you're not going to take the advantage of what I'm trying to show you here because I am recording in the ultra wide super ultra wide screen 32 by 9 3840 by 1080 that's going to be upscaled to 4k now the, the reason I landed here it wasn't just for me to explore this uh, planet that looks like Mars but the main reason I came here was because of something else that I wanted to do I'm gonna show you guys in a minute what I'm talking about um, came here because uh, I want to oh what the heck is this some kind of uh, what is this some kind of a plant. The reason I came here because uh, I wanted to explore this base. There was a base over here. And I'm going to show you where this base is. It's right over here. I missed it. But it's like right over here. Don't worry. You can never, uh, you can never forget where your ship is because it's going to let you know where your ship is. So there's the base. See, there's a base over here. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what the deal is with this base. Is it still operational or not? We're going to check it out. But like I said, in terms of graphics, this is going to keep getting... Uh, this is going to get better and better, you know, as they continue to push forward. And if you have uh, something like uh, RTX 2080 or RTX 2080 Forward to Win or RTX 2080 SLI, uh, with some 64 gigabytes of GDDR4 RAM, I mean, uh, yeah, you can even push it even more further to the limit. The more beefy PC you have, the better experience is going to be. So this is some kind of a mining um, base, uh, as you can see right here. See, they're 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 mining something here. 
They're looking for oil, I guess. <laughs> That's us. Always looking for oil. Never, never enough oil, right? Even on Mars. And of course, you can switch to a uh, third-person, uh, third-person view. And here we can exit. I mean, we can enter. I'm sorry, we can enter. All right. So what we need to do is we need to uh, use this airlock system first. Cycle through it. Now we're inside. Uh, looks like somebody left some clothing over here. Some kind of a scanner. Okay. Uh, can we pick it up? Uh, I, I don't know. Let's try. No, we can't. It's not ours. I think in the future you'll be able to do that. What is this? Power cell accepted. Find adaptive status active. Power cell monitor. So everything's working good here. Let's check this out. Let's check this facility. There's a laptop over here. I'm not sure if we can use it or not. You have to remember, this game is still in development, so all of this stuff is going to be operational. You'll be able to use it and, and whatnot. I'm just showing you this so you guys can see it. See it for yourself. What you, what you can actually do with this game. You know, that's all. It's just me showing you what you can do with this game. Uh, what is this? Kitchen. Uh, Terra. My other ship, it's Bengal Terra. There's another place called the Terra. That's the place I need to go to as well, man. Um, that's like uh, the big city, kind of like a Blade Runner type of a big city right there, Terra. Alright, so uh, let's uh, go back to our ship. Oh, shipping delivery. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is where you drop off the cargo and stuff. I see. You can pick up. But I don't think I have anything to... Because I didn't sign up for any shipping and delivering work, so I can't do nothing here. Um... You can, you can actually get a job and you can actually do this and deliver some goods and get the exchange goods and stuff like that. And remember we have to cycle here. Now we're entering the uh, the Mars. I mean I call it Mars. You know, It's not Mars, it's something else. But I call it Mars. You know. Alright, so let's explore a little bit more. Let's walk around here. Just uh, put things up a little bit more. I mean, you can walk around. You can walk around the entire planet if you want. I mean, you really have that option to do that, and it's so cool that you can do this. Actually, man, that you can go from your spaceship to check these other planets and then walk on them, um, and they're done really well, like uh, very realistically, man. When you look at this, uh, you guys will see how, how realistic this is. But remember, this is still in development you know they're still working on it it's not finished yet you know there's also a squadron 42 single-player experience they're working on 
that will be interesting to see how that's going to be oh that looks like a face doesn't it almost looks like a face that that peak of a mountain over there but it look, like I said this is very realistic and this looks even better when you are you know in a 32 by 9 32 by 9 uh, ratio monitor it looks even more better man it's like a whole new ball game but yes you are going to need a, a very beefy PC I mean I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you that you're not yes you are pretty cool hopefully this will give you some idea as to how it looks and how it runs I remember guys I'm, I'm running a very beefy PC I got uh, RTX 2080 I got 32 gigs of RAM I got H generation 7 uh, i7 processor with 4.8 gigahertz so for me obviously this is not like going to be an issue but if you have a 1070, uh, you'll be sh you you be okay with the medium settings. If you have 1080, I guess you can go a little bit higher. But if you got uh, 2080, uh, you can easily go. Or 2070, you can go with uh, you could go very high with like 50 frames per second or 60. I think you can go 60 with 2070. You know, but well, with 2080, you can go. 74 75 80 frames per second with very high settings all right there's my spaceship let's move on you can also check your status uh, look at your status and uh, look at your health how you doing and everything your oxygen level you everything you know you know this is like more like a realistic approach so you have to be careful how much you're walking around because you don't want to lose your oxygen you don't want to waste your oxygen so it's pretty realistic if you ask me so let's go back to our ship uh, let's make our way to our ship and then we're gonna take off you need to check out my previous video I also done uh, some pretty cool tutorials on my previous video regarding uh, Star Citizen now I want everybody to understand this what I'm showing you here I'm running on a very beefy expensive PC okay so it's important that you guys remember that you know you can be achieving something like this on a uh, you know 1060 with 8 gigs of RAM on your laptop it's just not gonna happen it's just not gonna happen so just keep that in mind guys alright so I want everybody to understand what you're seeing here you know you get what you pay for you know you get what you pay for guys and you can see the sun setting down and everything's gonna get dark pretty soon so it would be a good idea for me to take off I'm gonna go ahead and take off I'm gonna enter the ship there we go go inside the ship and uh, go inside here enter my cockpit that's my cockpit right there if you guys I don't know if you can see it or not that's my cockpit right there so I'm gonna enter my cockpit and uh, here we go so let me check my instruments make sure that everything's working properly all right everything's good and uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lift off we're gonna go ahead and lift off right now here we go ready steady and go go guys 
And off we go. Off we go. Pretty realistic, if you ask me. Now, when you're done landing, you need to go ahead and switch off from the landing. So you can enter the, uh, the flight mode. And once you do that, you're pretty much all set. And there is, you know, uh, these planets have a sunset, sunrise, you know, they have night and day. You can go to the dark side of the, the planet and you can go to the, the bright side of the planet depending where, the, where you want to go. It's very realistic. I mean, I have to admit what, what Chris Roberts is trying to achieve here. It is ambitious. It is pretty uh, out there, but I think uh, I think you guys will appreciate it. But remember, you know, you have to have a very beefy PC to to enjoy this. That's like the only way that you're going to be able to enjoy this. Let's just do a, a quick spin. I want to do a quick spin, kind of like 2001 Space Odyssey. Slowly, I want to do this quick spin for you guys. To pay the respect to uh, Stanley Kubrick. And also, we can pay a little homage to Ridley Scott. There we go. You can clearly see the atmosphere. And then we're going to make a full circular loop. It's going to be really cool. I'm using my Hotus One flight controller when I'm flying, and then I'm using my Xbox One controller when I'm on the ground running and stuff like that. You don't have to use a controller, you can use a mouse and keyboard, whatever's more comfortable for you. Alright, so well, there you have it, guys. Um, I hope you uh, enjoy this, and... Uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Well, there you, they, there you go, Mario. This is really for Mario, my friend Mario. He really wanted this, Mario Looney. He's so, he's so interested in this. So this is for you, dude. There you go. Enjoy it. Cheers.